Good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're watching across the globe. It's an absolute pleasure to have your company on this 25th of May. Can you believe it? Seven months today, Santa Claus has been coming down the chimney and leaving us loads of gifts. If you've been nice, of course. If you've been naughty, you're going to get coal. I wonder what I'll get this year. Anyway, still got seven months to worry about that. Welcome. Are you well? We have got a jam-packed day lined up on Crafters TV, as we usually do. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be uh, having a look as to what's coming up on Launch Party, as well as, well, before that, we're going to be having a look at what's coming up on the Masterclass as well. So you can see right at the side of me right now, we've got Masterclass, which, of course, is 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Then we're going to go into the Launch Party, which is, of course, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time time or uh, of course 11 a.m pacific time now these ones are going to be with jan so you're going to have lots of ideas and inspirations as always now when it comes to the master class it's all about stenciling and inking and embossing so we're going to pick upon that just slightly within wake up call now if you do go for the selection that is on uh, the, well the stencils basically in master class what you're going to do is you're going to get 50 free extra bonus points i know phenomenal a nice little incentive as well but then what we've also got when it comes to launch party is we're going to be having a look in wake up call the out of this world deal as well as the explorer kit so lots of things coming up within wake up call that you can then get more information on when it comes to launch party itself however what we're also doing as well, you'll wait for this, for anyone that is in, uh, that is Platinum within our Club Inspire, you spend £15, $15 or €15 Euros, and you're going to get a free gift. This is a create a scene gift, create, or create a scene die gift that you're going to be getting. So if you are Platinum and you spend over £15, $15 or €15, Euros, you're going to be getting that free gift. Now, before we go over to Joe, because we've got Joe joining us today, what I also want to say as well, tonight here in the UK, half past nine here in the UK, 4.30 Eastern time, 1.30 Pacific time, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live previewing the brand new Hunky Dory products that we've got tomorrow on launch day. Look at this. We have managed, see we, I have managed, a little bit of kicking and screaming to give you a little bit of a preview, preview in Wake Up Call. Now the Hunky Dory by the show isn't going to launch until tomorrow. However, we are giving you a very quick car uh, preview look when it comes to the collection ahead of the full preview that I'm going to be doing on my Facebook Live tonight. So if you do want to join me on those times, I need to see my name and the strap along the bottom. That's of course going to be Facebook Live and it is going to be from my home. So if you've never watched me do a Facebook Live from home again, it'd be an absolute pleasure to have your company. We'll go over Hunky Dory in a lot more detail. We'll do a little bit of crafting, but you know what? That is tonight. That is uh, going on later on in the, the afternoon for you guys stateside. So what we need to do is we need to have a look as to what we've got coming up on the rest of the day. As if what I said isn't enough. Even Joe's got more that he needs to tell us about, Joe. Oh, I certainly have. There is loads happening uh, today and throughout the rest of the week here, actually, on Crafters TV. Uh, but there's a very special promotion going on over on the website on Totally Tiffany products. Now, we've got some Totally Tiffany products coming up on air today on Crafters TV, which is fantastic, getting you organised. Uh, but there is double points on everything you'll see on air here at Crafters TV, but also across the entire website as well. We also then will be talking all things wine. Oh, I've, it's History of Wine Day. I've got a long history of wine, but we won't be getting into that uh, too much. But I'll be sharing uh, lots of little factoids with you uh, as we go through the show. Maybe you can share your wine facts with me as well. Maybe you can share any of your facts or life dilemmas or crafty conundrums. Uh, you can get in touch with me and Craig very easily uh, by popping yourself over to Facebook, Crafters TV, or of course, if you are over on YouTube, make sure you boom, press subscribe and uh, head over to Crafters Companion, which is where you will be able uh, to pop your questions. One of our social media superstars, I believe it's Taylor today, uh, will ping those questions over to me uh, on the trusty iPad. It's gonna be a really interesting preview because there is a, a lot isn't there today, Craig, in this preview, but throughout the rest of the day as well. There is. What you're gonna find within the, the shows today, you're gonna find uh, little bundles that we've taken out of 
other bundles in the past. That will all become clear when we go over our very first product, which is all about stencils. Now, you can see the details coming up on your screen just in a moment, and this is all about our stencils. Now, these ones originally, these came with our shaped word dies, but what we've done now, because so many of you wanted to have the stencils on their own, we've got them in a nice little bundle. $26.99 here in the UK, $35.77 for you guys stateside. This is going to give you your five stencils. Nice elongated stencils, so you're not your traditional size when it comes to them. We're going to be having a look at these ones just shortly. You do go for this bundle, you're going to be saving 10% when it comes to that one. That one is Masterclass, which of course will be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. But what you can then do when it comes to these step Sorry, Johnny? So you're loving those stencil ones. It's like breaking news just there. It was like, gosh, already shopping ahead when it comes to those stencils, which I'm not surprised. That's the key thing as well. You can shop ahead either on Masterclass or on Launch Party. But what we've got here is now, if you were going to go mad for the stencils, you are going to go absolutely berserk when it comes to these ones. We can actually say, and we had Emily who goes over the products and that with us this morning, you have phoned, you have emailed, you have contacted customer service saying, really want the mix in with love dye, really want the apron dye look. We've got them back now. So they are available later on in uh, the show. Master, is it Master launch, pa launch Party? These are on. This is definitely the product that you want to be able to get ahead of now. So if you go for that one there, you're going to be getting 50 extra bonus points with that collection here. 42.73 here in the UK, $56.41 for you guys stateside. So absolutely go ahead and shop ahead when it comes to, yes, the stencils, but more importantly, you want to have that apron as well as the mixing bowl, which we will have a look at very shortly on Wake Up Call. But when it comes to Wake Up Call, we're not just going to do stenciling or we're not going to do some die cutting. We're also going to do some stamping, but we're also going to do some uh, adding some colour. And we've got a nice little set here starting up. This is the Explorer kit within this one here. So what you're getting is the Magical Wishes. This is our Over the Edge. This is part of what was the character Over the Edge. So we've got the Unicorn. Now you're getting your Flagstone Waterproof Ink Pad. You're getting your Watercolour Card. You're getting four of your Rocker Blocks, but we're also giving you three of our Aqua Tri Blend Colours within these ones. So it's three pens, but in actual fact, you're getting nine colours because it is the Tri Blend uh, pens that works in with these ones here. 2866 here in the UK for you guys stateside 4155. So it actually works out that you're going to be getting the stamp and die set free within this bundle. Really nice one. Maybe you've actually already got this one. Why not just break it down for yourself? Keep all the other uh, components within this one, gift the other one. This has been featured a few times. I am really excited that we've got this back in because what we're going to do, when it comes to demoing, we're not going to actually use it in the over edge aspect. We're going to be using it in a little bit of home decor and that's going to be later on in wake up call. So as you can see, we've got right nice, right nice selection of products that have been picked upon from past bundles or just ones that we've not seen for such a long time. And this is why I'm not surprised Johnny's saying that the stencil have gone berserk these ones with the uh, actual dies as well, the creator card dies, these are really going to go berserk as well. I am not surprised. Don't know about you, Joe, but I already knew earlier on that I could see comments. Some of you had already spotted it on the website and you've already been buying them. Uh, did you notice that as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's been very, very busy over on the website the last couple of days. A lot of people excited already, Craig, about your Hunky Dory preview later. Aish saying she loves your Hunky Dory previews, Craig. So very, very excited for that. A lot of you tuning in to say hello as well, which is fantastic. Now, something that launched yesterday, as it does every single Monday here on Crafters TV, is, of course, the Get It, Got It Good. <laughs> And what a hero it is this week. It is, of course, a full plate collection 
for your Gemini Junior. Magnetic, metal, two cutting plates, plastic and purple shims, all coming to you and in the fabulous storage bag, which is brilliant. £35 if you're in the UK, $36 if you are stateside. Uh, Club Inspired Platinum member saving an extra £7 or $7.20 there on that one. So a real, really a real essential. It's really nice when we bring you uh, the Get It, Got It Good on something that I know you guys want to get stocked up on. Lots of you chatting away and saying hello uh, this morning as well. I can see Michelle is in from Georgia, as I like to call it. Uh, Georgianne is in here as well from Clearwater. I can see Dragon Mum too saying good day. Uh, CC uh, Nation. That's a nice term for us all, isn't it? The CC Nation uh, like from it. Texas. Uh, as always, a lot of you uh, have got your hands on uh, some of the products that we're sharing with you today. If you want to send us pictures in of those makes, absolutely you can. Sh uh, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those into. Uh, what are we going to be concentrating on first then, Craig? Right, we're going to get a bit stenciling. We're going to get, well, you could get inky. We're not necessarily going to be using the inks when it comes to the stencils. We're going to use some sparkle paste that you'll find on our website. Now, what I want to do when it comes to these stencils, originally these came with the shape word dies. But what I want you to do is I want you to have a look at the backdrop design. This is what is your stencil. So the stencil is what's been used in the backdrop here. So you can see we've got the waves on this one. On this one here, we've got the florals in the background as well. This one, we've got the dots that we can see over the top here. And then we've got the stars on this one that we can see just in the back. And then on this one, we've got the love hearts as well. So these are five by seven. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to question this live. They're, they're, not, they're five by nine. They're not actually five by seven. I did wonder when I seen that on the screen because I thought, no, they're quite a bit longer than that one. So uh, you're actually, you're getting more. So although that they came originally with the shape word dies, you can be using them on their own. That's exactly what we're going to do. They are part of the masterclass, the five by nine background stencils. So this is where you're getting five elements in total with the different designs. $26.99 here in the UK, $35.77 for you guys stateside. Everyone gets 10%, but of course, if you're in club and supplier, <coughs> you'll be paying even less than that. That goes for you guys across in Europe as well. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Let's dive straight in. Let's have a look and see how you can be using these ones other than just inking. And these ones, you've seen in the past how we've run them through our Gemini so that we get the embossed detail, which you can do. You can, of course, do your inking. You can spritz through them. But what you can also do as well is I've taken some of our sparkle paste. This is on our website, this one being lilac uh, blush on here. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm taking some of our white smooth stamping card here. And what I've done is I've trimmed this down to three and a half by seven and three quarters. And it is going to go onto a DL card that we've got here. And I love doing stencils with pastes, Joe, because I think you get a different look. And also, you're going in the realms of mixed media, because you're th mixing different mediums together. I think a lot of the time we just think about stencils for inking, really, don't we, Craig? You do. When in fact, there's so much more to it than that. There is. There's so much more. Because if you do have paste, although I'm using one that's got glitter on it, you could be using a smooth paste that we do have on the website and you can sprinkle glitters over the top, you can sprinkle beads over the top, lots of things that you can do in conjunction with the pastes. Now what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use my repositional spray for my stencil. You can do if you want, but what I want to do is I want to go for a natural kind of free flowing look. So if my stencil was to move or smudge, then you absolutely uh, can allow it to do that. So what I've done is I've made sure that my stencil is completely over the top of my cardstock. And if you've got something like a little spatula that I like to use, then great. If not, you can use one of your uh, scoring tools here. But you know, ideally get an inexpensive kind of like spatula, that's gonna work a treat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer it up along the top and I'm gonna get a nice, uh, collection of uh, sparkle ink over the top and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to keep going but what I want to do is I want to leave it quite thick in areas 
And for this one, I don't necessarily want to go right to the edge, Joe. Okay. I want a little bit more of that rustic look where it's um, kind of blending out into the cardstock. And I'm going to go in. And you don't need to worry about having thick layers because we're going to scrape off the excess in a minute. I want to make sure that I've got nice thick layers. So I'm going to go in. And if you want them thin and smooth, then at this point you're going to scrape it all off. Very satisfying to watch, Craig. Do you like watching this? Mm. It is nice to do because what happens is once you come to reveal it, so what I'm going to do is let's take this excess off just now. Then I'm going to take my low tack tape off the bottom and I'm going to use it as a bit of a hinge. So I'm going to get a hold of the top and then I'm going to lift. We've then got our sparkle. We've got our dots. Nice. And because I went quite thick, we've got some real thick dots. And because that I've not gone right to the edge, we've got that kind of uneven look. And that's uh, the look that you want to go for, if that is in actual fact the style that you want. But what we can then do is we can also take another piece in so that we're not wasting any of this. Either on your glass mat or your non-stick mat, you can come along and you can scrape all this excess off to pop it into your pot. Or what to do is keep going so that you can create more looks. So I'm going to tape that down again. And I'm only doing a little bit of tape because I don't need it fully secure. And at this point, I can go back in and I can scrape oh, nice. all that excess into the areas. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a much thinner layer, but it just means that we are not wasting anything. So let's go in. Don't be neat, you know, be quite robust and just get that sparkle paste or just whatever. Just like buttering toast, just make sure you don't get the crumbs back in the butter You've got to make sure that you don't have any crumbs. You know that you don't, uh, you're not going to get any crumbs in that way, so you're all good to go in that one. We all know that I don't like crummies in the, the marge of the butter. Well, that is the thing. I don't know if you saw a uh, wake-up call last week. Craig was calling me out for getting crumbs in the butter. Turns out Craig doesn't even use butter. Which was the most, was the most, was the outrageous part, I thought, Craig. No, he has a margarine substitute. I was going for marge or butter. I was just using butter as a, well, what was it? I was using it as kind of... An um, umbrella term. Yeah, kind of using it just for the idea. But I was meaning either butter or, of course, margarine. I do like butter, though. I do like butter on toast. <sighs> Tastes nice. Now, to clean this, what you can do is either go straight onto your glass mat or onto your craft mat. But why not use this as part of a subtle design? So I've gone in for a baby wipe now, or it could be a damp cloth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my stencil, but I'm going to do it onto a piece of white smooth cardstock. Or it could be any cardstock that you want. And what's going to happen is it's going to give you kind of like a, a watered down mottled effect. So let's peel this one off and then reveal this one. Nice. Now look, so if I hold still, I'm going to tilt it. Can you see? Oh, now, you can see what, that there. That's, that's like, you know, your bubble wrap that it's you like get. It's like a silhouette, isn't it almost? It is. So you've got that one as you're cleaning it. This one is you're scraping the excess paste off and then what was the original one that we were going for that is really quite thick in bubbles because we've really layered it on thick. Now, Call me bubbles, darling, there. everybody does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Call me on the Monaco number one, two, three, four, five, six. What's that from? What's that? That is from Little Britain. You remember? Oh, I never watched it. You know, did you not remember Bubbles DeVay? I, w I watched little bits. Oh, like, darling, do be a darling, darling. Get me another glass of champagne, darling. <laughs> uh, see, I watched, I watched them, or I loved them in Come Fly With Me. Right, I yes. Come Fly With Me. Yeah, yeah, that was another one. Little Britain, I think, was popular in the UK and in the US. I think it was one of those ones that um, translated. Yeah. Uh, but it was very, very funny. Um, but quite rude. <laughs> yeah, well, because not, I don't think they're allowed to show it now, are they? Or restricted No, times. I don't think so. So what I can do now... Is this is one that I've already done, left to dry. 
I would leave it touchable within maybe about half an hour, but like anything, what I would do is leave it to dry overnight, and you're going to get this real nice thick coat in. I've gone edge to edge on this one, and what we're doing is keeping this card very, very simple, Joe. So what we can do is take in our DL card blank, and I'm going to lift this back layer over uh, the main of my card base with foam pads. So let's pop these ones on. And then I was also having a little bit of a play of our latest nature garden collection. Right. So that can go on. Look, no mats and layers, Joe. Oh. No mats and layers. Nude. Check me out here. Yeah. Uh, Pam, what's where you can get that scrapey tool from? Uh, I, mine's is years old, but you can get them inexpensively on your, you know, online. Yep. So yeah, literally maybe even your pound or dollar store that might have them. But honestly, a pound or so, you can uh, get them online. Awesome. So what I'm doing is, because we've got texture here and I've got some foam pads on the back, to make it even more secure, I do like to put a little bit of tacky glue on the back. Then I've taken one of the lanterns, coloured this one in. So it's using a uh, jade green and dark red. That can sit here and that's all that i'm going to do to create that card there using the stencils so that one there being the scattered dots stencil but you could be inking through them uh, on launch day tomorrow we've got the prism shimmer mist back in as well all of them are back in stock spritz through them if you want to as well ink through them if you want to emboss through them if you want to but you've got lots and lots of different paste on our website so you check them out and use them ones but these are part of the crafters companion masterclass five by nine uh, stencils these ones here being the background stencils we are getting five elements in total uh, for the full bundle here 26.99 here in the uk 35 dollars 77 for you guys stateside everyone pay, uh, gets 10 percent off and of course if you are in club inspire you'll be paying even less than that so that's going to be with jan and joe 3 p.m here in the uk 10 a.m eastern time 7 a.m pacific time so i think while i uh, get my my hands nice and clean uh, we're going to have a little bit of a history lesson with something that is right up charlotte street mm, absolutely it is right up charlotte straza uh, she's back in the chair so we're going to get the real out of the wine facts it is uh, wine history day today uh, and whilst i think we all uh, love to partake in a little tipple uh, i think maybe we don't uh, maybe know so much about the history so i've got a bit of a uh, i've got a bit of a story here for you some wine facts for you wine history 101 time as we're calling it um did you know Back in the day, it was forbidden, uh, forbidden for, to I'll try that again. It was forbidden for women to drink wine, Craig. <gasps> How do you feel about that, Charlotte? Not happy, rude, it says here uh, in these comments. Speyer, Germany is home to the oldest bottle of wine in the world, which dates back to AD 325, nearly as old as Johnny. Uh, it's supposedly on display at the historical museum in the town. There you go. I can't imagine that tastes so great now. Um, have you ever toasted someone he someone's health? This comes from an ancient Greek tradition. The host of the dinner would have the first sip of wine to assure his guests that the drink was not poisoned. Oh, it's great having friends, eh? Uh, and the oldest known wine cellar is on the Titanic. Uh, when divers went down to the wreckage, most of the wine bottles were still intact. How fancy would that be at a dinner party, drinking uh, a bottle of wine? Oh, where's this from? You know, just from the Titanic. Uh, super, super fancy. Uh, a few years back, Craig, I think it was maybe now three years ago, uh, I went on a little wine tour to uh, South Africa. So I'm going to share with you some of the pictures that I took. That's me and that is my friend Philip. He's like Santa Claus on holiday, isn't oh, he? Oh, he does, doesn't Santa he? Claus on, he's such a legend. Uh, this is a, a vineyard called Takara, which is in Stellenbosch that we went to and visited. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I mean, of all the views oh, of a, a bar, wow. I mean, come on, sitting there for a glass of wine, pretty gorgeous. Uh, it's called Takara, this vineyard, because it was gifted to someone called Kara by her dad hundreds of years ago. There you go. So it's called Takara. And this was a different one. This is, we did a lot of this, Craig, which was the tasting of the wine. So you just select all the ones that you want, put a little cross through, and then they bring you little mini glasses. I mean, I think I've got one, two, three, four, five. There's about six tick there. You've got a lot, they are yeah. very, very small glasses. 
Uh, but no, it was absolutely beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, there was a lot of wine drunk there on that holiday. Uh, who, who's got any, who's got any wine, sto wine stories? Let's, let's keep them, you know, not too, you know, drink responsibly, don't spill it and all that. Um, but yes, <laughs> let me know your wine stories over on Facebook, uh, Crafters TV there, or of course over on YouTube, Crafters Companion. Now we're going to stick with the masterclass. I just want to take you through uh, an amazing blending collection that we've got available to you on the show today, which is awesome. You get so much in here, lots of our hero tools in there for you. So you're going to get the brayer which is awesome, especially when you're doing things like your stenciling. Uh, you get the round and square blending tools, which can be used for all of your different inking techniques, and you're getting the refills as well, so it's important to have the refills for your different colour families. Uh, you're going to get the craft mat in here. Now, the craft mat's awesome. You'll see a lot of our experts in the studio using the big glass boards, uh, which are wonderful if you've got a dedicated craft space. If you don't, these are fantastic, because it does the same job for you, but you can roll it up and put it away, or just maybe have this little travel one in your craft bag, which is brilliant. Uh, Johnny says they're wonderful for allowing the kids uh, to not wreck your dining room table really uh, and then also what you've got are the misters and Craig talked about these yesterday uh, saying yes they're great for water think about putting explosion powders inks in there as well they work for those all of those different things too you've then got your mini blending eggs which is not what they're called they're called blending sponges but they look like mini eggs to me I reckon you could put your makeup on with those as well if you wanted to uh, and you've also got the mixing palette in here too which is uh, and great for enabling you to mix and blend all of those colors together which is awesome 30 pounds or 40 dollars that one if you want to get your hands on it with a great great saving now one of the exciting things about shopping with us here at crafters tv is we give it you loads of options when it comes to us dispatching our products to you and ben's going to take you through those we've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed with continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. 
Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Uh, lots of you chatting away about your uh, wine stories. Uh, lots of wine recommendations for us. I think we're going to have to do some sort of wine tour of uh, the US as well. Because Pamela says, if you're ever in central New York, you should do the Finger Lakes wine tour. You can even book on a group tour via a minibus. Lovely wines, food and tons of fun. Imagine us lot way through central New York. Uh, anyway, Winnebeth says, Joe, check out the North Fork of Long Island. New York, 40 wineries to explore, six within walking distance uh, of where I vacation. Now that sounds like fun. Uh, it really does. Any wine facts you've got for us, get them in. As we were saying, it's Wine uh, History Day uh, today, which is great. What's your history with wine like, Craig? Nothing. <laughs> Cloudy, yeah, Johnny, Cloudy, yeah. No, I'm, well, the, this is this is kind of a bit like your white chocolate scenario. Rosé, is that wine? Would you class that as wine? Absolutely, it's wine, yeah. yeah. yeah so rosé and... Um, now, let me get this right, Craig. Rosé is... It's all... So white wine, rosé wine and red wine are all the same thing. They don't come from different colour grapes. It's just the amount of time that the skins are left in. Right. I think that's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think rosé, delicious. Love a rosé. A Sancerre yeah. rosé. Oh. You no, know, I, I I like rosé. It's uh, rosé that I'll drink occasionally. I can uh, drink white. I can't do red. Can not no. do red. I think the thing mm. is with red wine is that uh, I can drink any white wine, as in you know, good, bad, indifferent, all those different things. Whereas with um, red wine, it has to be a nice red wine. If it's not a nice one, I, can't I would it. love to be able to you know go home at night, chill out, feel. I always, for years, I always thought people say go out, chill out and have a glass of red wine. I just pictured them, you know, drinking like something fruity like R Ribena, <laughs> you know, something like that. And I'd done it once, this oh, 10 years ago or something, and obviously I bought the wrong one. Or just obviously, yeah. Any um, red one and it was just not to my taste. And it was like... Ugh. No, can't drink that. Some studies show, though, that white, red wine in very small amounts can be uh, have a positive impact on your health, Craig. So believe. That's what uh, Dr. Hillary says on Good Morning Britain. So if he says it, it must be must true. Must be true. Must be true. Uh, let's also have a few reads of the comments as well. Uh, let's do our uh, good afternoon, Johnny. Hello. Afternoon, <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> afternoon, Charlotte. Hi. She just goes, what? <laughs> so Johnny Joel. goes, oh, crazy me, oh, oh, crazy me, oh. <laughs> that is literally what you done a minute ago. Sorry, Joe, were you ready to say something? No, like? no, oh. I, was just, I was just taking the mickey out of Johnny, really, Take that's fine. Mickey. It can yeah. wait. We'll all do that, we'll all do that. Um, Michelle on YouTube say, I forgot about some of these techniques. Great idea, obviously, going when it comes to the stenciling. So, yeah, give that a shot as well. Uh, whether it's uh, within Wake Up Call or certainly in Masterclass with Joe and Jan, send any pictures in that you've done using the stencils. We've got Glory on Facebook saying, uh, love that, no waste, great idea. Obviously when it comes to the baby wipe. We've then also got Pamela on YouTube saying, that's pretty clever, I need to try this, give it a shot and see. Uh, did I see as well, it was someone's birthday. Gloria on Facebook saying, good morning Joe and Craig, I'm so glad to be here from Shady Dale, Georgia. I wanted you to know, Georgia. today is my birthday. And I'm celebrating with Crafter's Companion. Well, Gloria, a massive, massive happy birthday from uh, all of us. Hope you have a lovely day. I'm so glad that you're able to spend it with all of us at Crafter's Companion. And uh, yeah, just relax. And you know what? Get your craft on. Get crafting. Watch us. And I'm sure between myself and Joe and Johnny and Charlotte and then Joe and Jan, Johnny and Charlotte, you'll have a blast today. I have no doubt when it comes to Crafter's TV. Talking about Absolutely. Crafters TV. Well, we'll have a look, see what's coming up in Launch Party. 
something that you guys are going berserk for. And I actually mean berserk. Johnny says you're already going straight to the website when we've done the preview at the start of the show. And this is all coming up on Launch Party, also with Jan and Joe. 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. This is the Fancy Apron and Mixed With Love Creator Card Collection. 29 elements in total. Now, 42.73 here in the UK, 56.41 for you guys staying side everyone is going to be getting 50 bonus points when you're in club inspire when you go for that selection here this is such a fun set i'm not surprised so many of you have been on at customer service for months asking sarah and also leanne leanne being head of product development are we getting it back in now's your chance if there's any time that you need to be shopping ahead on our website now is certainly the time to get this into your basket and check it out Look at what you can be making. So think of Father's Day, of course, here in the UK and US of A. Father's Day is the exact same time in June. It's Mother's Day that differs. But you could be making these little create a card dies into cards for your dads or your uncles or brothers or son. Your mum might be the barbecue queen and you can be using that if you want. She might be the kitchen queen or your dad might be the one that loves to be in the kitchen. For instance, my dad, my stepdad, he's more like my dad, uh, loves his barbecue and that and he loves to cook. So you can mix and match the colours. Here's another one, the Grill King here that would be good for whoever loves the barbecue or cooking. And then the DIY. This reminds me of, do you remember Joe Home Improvement with Tim Allen? It just reminds mm. me of uh, this one, the, the, the belt snap that you used to wear. So that one's been the apron, but what you're also getting is the mixer. So this is super cool as well. So anyone that loves to make cupcakes and that. Now it's the die set that you're getting. You also get the tab where you can then pop your own little sentiment on or maybe your die cut sentiment. But you can then be colouring these whichever way that you want to. Maybe you want to do a fancy design and you want to use the stencils that we had just a moment ago. You can start to stencil on top of that if you want to. So I thought what we'll do is let's have a look at the mixing bowl. I'll show you how you can create the card, but what we're going to do, instead of using it as a create card, we're going to put it onto a big card blank. So it shows you a variety of different ways in which you can use them. Now, everyone knows someone that loves baking, don't they? Um, or cooking in some way. So a really easy project to give this one, uh, I'm thinking, Craig. And I love how iconic it looks, that stand mixer as well. It definitely does. looks a lot like the, uh, the big branded one. Uh, that's out there. Lots of you still um, popping in your wine comments. I'll read some more of them out when I do some more wine facts. Wine facts with Joe uh, coming up very, very soon. That's got a good ring to it, actually. It has, isn't wine it? Wine facts with Joe. We haven't had the word of the day of the day yet, Craig, either. Have you got I'll one? I'll work on it. I have got one, yes. Oh, I just can't us. remember what it is. I've got it written down somewhere. <laughs> in the back of your hand? <laughs> no. No. It's not in my hand. <laughs> So what I've done with this one is I've taken our white smooth stamping card and I folded it in half and then I've popped the die so that it overlaps the edge just here. So if I take this one off, this is where now, Joe, this creates your card. So that is your card base in the shape of the mixing bowl. So then you can start to build upon that, build the layers and decorate it. That's you good to go. We don't want that. We want to add layers onto the front of a card blank. So what I'm going to do, so we can have a look at comments and have a chat amongst ourselves, Joe, I'll explain. I've taken some cardstock from Sarah's brand new collection. So I've taken these two layers, which I'm going to cut using the, uh, the main outline die. I've taken a piece of the pastel yellow. If I bring the die set in here, I'm going to cut this one into that color. And then we've got all these additional little components here. I've taken some of the other colours. And what we're going to do is we're going to run, wow, 10% of this wow. stock here. Wow. I knew, you, I knew you would go for it. I absolutely knew that you would go for it. So I'm not surprised in the slightest. I'm just so glad that you've managed to get your hands on it so soon. Such a fun one though, Joe, isn't it, to play with? Yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, I don't know how much... Uh, of it will be left when we get to uh, when we get to that later show. Uh, I've got it. I found it, Craig. My word of the day for today is apricate. 
Applicate. Applicate. Oh. Any ideas what it might mean at home? Any ideas without Googling it? Applicate. I'm going to give you a few minutes. I'll let you sit with it. You tell me what you think it might mean. It's like being on without, Kendo. Without Googling it. I mean, if you Google it, you'll get it right, but it's no fun. Yeah, applicate. A-P-R-I-C-A-T-E. Applicate. App right. Oh, I'm like, it's like Dictionary Corner over here, isn't you it? You are. And sometimes you, you need to think of the word, don't you? And just think, right, does it... Does it sound like something? Not really. I love the ones that don't sound anything like they mean, personally. Right. And is that this one? Um, yeah, pretty yeah? much. Okay. Uh, applicate, yes. Do you um, make it easy for us, then? No, I don't, do I? I should really. Maybe I should need to make it a little more easily. I mean, I'd love to say that I come up with these words and I know what they mean and they're from my vocabulary, Craig, but that would be an absolute lie. I've just heard them all along the way and... Uh, and uh, thought I'd share them with you. We're all learning together. Rosalind says, I use these dyes on the cover of my recipe book in the kitchen. Uh, Michelle says, I've already placed my order for the apron and mixer. Brilliant. It sold out last year before I could buy it, so we don't want to miss out on it this time. Uh, and Helen's been searching high and low for the apron dye. Definitely treating myself to this. It's so good that we've managed to get it back. But I want to point out as well, this isn't something that we're going to be carrying on um, having in stock. This is purely down to your demand that we've managed to get some back. It's not an infinity of stock that we've got. So um, obviously never, never, you know, count on it. However, what I would probably say is the trouble we've had getting it, certainly with everything going on in the world, that once it's gone, it's gone. So do make sure that you get in now. Because let's face it, it's been a good, it's been at least a good couple of years since we've had it maybe about 24 months or so. Mm, absolutely. So, I just love it. I think it's so iconic. And again, something you're going to be, is perfect for gifting. Also great for birthdays, the mixer as well. I mean, because we all have a birthday cake at the end of the day, let's face it. So uh, definitely for birthdays, you're going to love using it. So many people are into baking uh, now. So many great shows on the TV. We call it the Great British Bake Off. Is it called the the Great Baking Programme or something like that in the States, Craig? Do you remember what it's called? Uh, it's something like that. But did you know that our Great British Bake Off here in the UK is more popular in America than their own version. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they absolutely love and um, our version. And it was actually, I can't remember what uh, US talk show it was that I was watching, but they were talking about it because they had, um, what's on it? It's Prue Leaf. Prue Leaf Prue, on it? yes. And they were saying that, how um, the She UK loves a statement version. necklace, our Prue, doesn't she? It's like the ones Marge Simpson wears, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, if you're watching Prue, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you know, that wasn't meant in a... In a she never Prue, knows Charlotte. Prue Leaf she might be watching then. Charlotte. You say that. No. But this, funny enough, we're, we're going into a different conversation here now. That, um, you know, uh, she would actually... See, it's Prue Leaf. I think we should give her the free gift, Johnny. Prue Leaf, if... It's, it's called The Great British Baking Show uh, in the UK. That's what it's called. In the US, sorry. Uh, also, what's on the subject, which is not related to the subject whatsoever, <laughs> there is a... <laughs> the read bad link, sorry. Uh, we've got a craft along coming up on Thursday, uh, and we still need a guest for it. It is the Liftables, uh, the Liftables dies. If you've got them and you love them, we'd love you to come and join us for the craft along on Thursday. Uh, it's with the fish, the lovely Debbie, uh, and it's if you want to be a part of it, you can just drop us an email to the email address there on the bottom of your screen, which is crafterstvguest at crafterscompanion.co.uk. crafterstvguest at crafterscompanion.co.uk. It is the liftables. We'd love you to come and join us on that show. Do you want a little bit of a tease, Joe? Yes, please. I have got a craft along on Monday. Oh, mm. yeah. It's uh, it's it's got coming up on Monday. I'm not going to tell you what the product is. I'm going to wait till after Debbie's done her one. But it is as um, as you begin to expect. It's something that we've not that long launched. So it's going to be a good opportunity to craft on long. But yeah, Debbie's one is uh, that's going to be a fun one as well because I absolutely adore the liftables. I just think they're absolutely genius. And knowing Debbie, cannot wait to see what she's going to come up with. Mm -hmm. Be very, very interesting. She's actually won card of the uh, card of the week, I think, a couple times for her just craft along. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if she managed to scoop the award again this week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the, the word of the day because I've had no guesses, Craig. No None. guesses anywhere near Craig. It means to bask in the sun, to apricate. 
Well, we're not doing that today after that weather. That no, I can here. hear the rain outside again today. But yeah, I wouldn't mind a little holiday for a bit of appricating, no. or is it a bit of apprication? Uh, who knows? Yeah, lovely. Appricate, bask in the sun. There you are. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day. We need like a little jingle or something. We do. Who can we get to make one? We could do. Charlotte's from Morpeth. I bet she can make us one. Where's the link, Charlotte's asking, Joe? The link? The link for what? Here we go, let's show you what I'm doing now with these layers. I'm adding my adhesive onto the back. The reason I've done two is because what I'm going to do, Joe, is do a little bit of a drop shadow. You know what I'm like? I can't do like a layer without doing a drop shadow. So before we pop them together, Let's bring in our eight by eight layers. So I've taken the, the blue from a Garden Party and a piece of our white smooth stamping card. Same with the orange gingham. And now I've done three sides. So what I'm going to do with my little distressing tool, I'm going to go around the edges and give it a little bit of a distress. And it reminded me of a picnic blanket. So where yeah, you've got does, the it? picnics, you know, you've got some cakes, you've got some sandwiches. You've got that little wasp that's always annoying you. Oh gosh, there's a uh, a world, there's a, um, it's called, oh now I'm not going to be able to remember the name of it. Yeah, Grantchester, which is a place in, just outside Cambridge, Craig, it has a world famous tea room. It's basically where Geoffrey Archer lives. Uh, it's this beautiful little village just outside Cambridge, very historical, has a world renowned tea rooms. You've never seen so many wasps in really? your life, Craig, yes. So many, they all got the memo. The, that's where the sugar's at, I think, yeah. because uh, I went there a couple of years ago, but I've never seen so many wasps. Pam says, Joe, the new patisserie show starts tonight. I've Ooh, seen that comment. A patisserie show. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Pam, you're going to have to let me, um, let me know what that is. I mean, at the best of times, I'm usually about 75% pastry, so that sounds like it's going to be right up my straza. Uh, Michelle Parsons says you could use the mixer as a cover for the Christmas recipe stamp and die cards collection. Cracking idea, mm, yeah. Love that one. Absolute cracking idea. Uh, Ta uh, Aisha says, oh, craft along Monday, yippee. Memorial Day and I have no plans, so I will be joining. Yes, bank holiday on Monday in the US. It's a bank holiday here as well. It's our late May bank holiday, which is sometimes referred to as the Whitsum bank, bank holiday. Shall I find out why, Craig? I've I, never questioned this yeah. in the past. I've never even heard of that one before. It's, what's it called? The w Whitson. 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 Yep. And it's uh, myself and Becky. Ah, so the Christian High Holy Day of Pentecost is celebrated on the 50th day from Easter Sunday. It commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostle and the followers of Jesus while they're in Jerusalem celebrating the Feast of Weeks as described in the Acts of the Apostles. It was actually on Sunday the 23rd of May this year, which was... Uh, which was, um, what well, was just month, Sunday just gone. But yeah, I'd, I've always wondered why. It's not officially called the Whitson Bank Holiday, it's called the Late May Bank Holiday, but my, my grandparents always called it Whitson Bank Holiday, so I always wondered why. Mm -hmm. Now you know, public service broadcasting, Craig. You see, it's all this information that you give us, Joe, that we need. And it's I mean, not it's not me giving it to you, really, it's Google most of the time, and we're all finding out together. But you know, it's Yeah, but to you're know, feeding it? it to us. Because obviously I can't go on to Google while uh, I'm demoing. So I rely on you. So I rely on the crafters telling us For what's all of going this on. interesting knowledge. And then you. That, that's a, some skinny foam pad action there. That's why I also love my large foam pads because... So Johnny's asking, how did I know that that was the exact size I needed to cut it to? Because it fits precise along the bottom. It's just... Doing it so, so many times, Johnny, yeah? Yeah, just guess it. I Years guess of it. practice. It is. Between my double-sided tape and my foam pads, it's years of using it that you start to guess what you need. I'll probably blow your mind even more in a minute. So building up the layers here. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do little slithers here. Now, what I would say is, of course, you can absolutely keep these flat. But I do say that they do shout out to be layered up with either your foam pads or your glue gel. And it really does add to the dimension of the create a card. So go for it, layer them up, 
And even if you are using them as an actual create a card, the way that they're intended, still add your layers over the top uh, with your pads or your glue gel because um, the card's going to stand upright just uh, perfectly. So you don't ever need to worry about it falling over. So let's layer these ones up here. And it's the little bit of detail that you're going to see that we pop onto our card here. The little switch, the little panels for the base, it's all done for you. And you can position them wherever you like. Yeah, I love these colorways here as well. Michelle saying the mix would also be great for a gift card for a wedding gift or a bridal party gift. Yeah. Would be perfect for that. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Well, you could create your own little like, pockets in the side mm. if you want to, leave underneath here free of any of adhesive. So then you've got your little po pocket aspect. Maybe you want to use it within a scrapbook page. And then by doing that, you've maybe got your favorite recipe from your nan or your granddad or your mum or auntie, uncle, anyone like that. And then you can start to incorporate it with them as well. So although it's called create a card, don't necessarily always think of it as a card making die use it elsewhere so what I'm going to do is take these last few and even get in the die to go on the front which you can then stamp onto if you want then uh, that's just perfect because you'll see my finished card in a moment or two I've actually used it as a 60th right so let's layer that very one on. very vintage isn't it this it is when you want it to be I mean you could make it quite modern I'm guessing of course you could, yeah. You can do it whichever way that you like, any colour way. You can even use pattern paper if you want to. You don't necessarily have to use it, um, you know, in any specific colour tones. But what I'm going to do is I want this little bit as well. So this bit here is what would represent the actual little mixer mechanism. So you'll see just in a moment what we're going to do. You may have noticed as well, all of these layers went through the Gemini Junior. Yep. Now the main outline die that I used, it just goes through the Gemini Junior and no more, literally just. But it goes to show that you're able to use it with that machine. If you've got the large Gemini then, you know, even better because you can do more than one of the die cutting layers. But let's go in. And like all of our dies as well, doesn't have to be uh, the Gemini. It could be any die cutting machine that you've got out there, as long as it takes the wafer thin dies, which I always laugh when people say it. We say it as well sometimes, all die cutting machines take wafer thin dies. Yeah. All of them. That's what they're for. So these will literally, size dependent, will go through all die cutting machines. So you don't need to worry about that. So let's pop this one on, and then what we can do is take these last few bits, layer them up. So this little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that just within the middle here. Then we're going to bring in the worker bowl, and we're going to have that into here. Let's bring in a couple of these hearts as well. And you may even want to pop in, you know, you can start to shape these with little photos if you want to as well. There's just so many different ways in which you can use them and incorporate them. So we'll do that one. Let's do this one here. Popping it on. I'm going to lay that to the side. Then let's bring in this one. So this is the tab. This is what you can stamp onto. What would you be making in your mixing, in your mixer, Craig? First thing you make? It would be a plain sponge. A plain sponge. Within, uh, Simple pleasures. Icing over the top, yeah. Excellent. Uh, Charlotte, what would you be making yours? Uh, if you got a mixer like this, and you had, what would be the first thing you made in it? Oh, a lemon cake. Nice one, Johnny. Ooh. An Arctic roll. I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, mine would be a sort of, some sort of chocolate fudge cake. Mm. Delicious. So there it is the finished card and then what I've done is done this one and I've used some of my 
little number dies that I've got at home and then what I've done is just done a six death over the top. Now this was actually from an old stamp that had come originally so I apologise that I've used it but this is just a stamp. You could easily draw around that with your own little pen marker if you want to. You've got little dots but you can do that with your stamp. Stamp sentiment of course it could be a six death, 31st, any of your little number dies that you've got at home. Use it as the actual concept that it's made as in the creator card but always have a look at your die sets that you've got it may be named something specific but it doesn't mean that you can't use them elsewhere so that one is just one of the, the uh, actual components in the collection which is you're getting the fancy apron as well as the mixed with love create a card die collection totally you're getting 29 elements across the board 42.73 here in the uk 56.41 for you guys stateside everyone is going to get 50 extra bonus points when it comes to club inspire as well and it's such a fun one already again johnny just keeps saying that you keep going onto the website and uh, checking them out as well i think i think as well am i right in saying johnny that a couple of people are actually it seems to be because te uh, technology nowadays you can you can see everything people are even just checking it out before they're going to look at other things that's how popular it is so make sure you get ahead crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu you know i would say of course do the, the best when it comes to postage and get everything together that you want from throughout today maybe a few little bit easier so always combine them together and then check them out but that's what's coming up in launch part eight with jan and of course joe so that will be 7 p.m here in the uk 2 p.m eastern time or 11 a.m pacific time absolutely it will it's time for wine facts with joe again uh we are talking lots of you chatting about a uh, charlotte bruce says she'd make chocolate chip cookies in her mixer first thing off oh God, I gotta love a chocolate chip cookie, haven't you? Who else we got to, uh, talking on the wine chat? Oh, Michelle Parsons says, Joe, we have a wrought iron wine cabinet. Uh, we put, purchased when we're stationed in Germany. It fits over 72 bottles of wine and it's filled. Most of our wines are from Germany, Italy and France. Gosh, wouldn't be filled in our house, was it? Would it, Craig? No. We don't live together for the record, but in our <laughs> houses is what I'm saying. That's how rumours start. Uh, Gilmore says, Joe, for me, red wine has to be just right. I like them sweet, love Chardonnay, and need to try a rosé. Yes, you do. Uh, Andrew says, I don't believe in categories like good and bad for wine. There are those I like and others that I do not taste well for me. Very individual thing. It really, really is, isn't it? I so, like that thinking. yeah, it is. I think you just like what you like, don't you? That's really uh, what it is. My wine, if I'm going to drink wine, Craig, is very, very specific. It is uh, a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, from a specific part of New Zealand as well, a town called Marlborough. That's like my go-to. Yeah, for as long as it's that, we're all good. I mean, I'll drink anything in reality, but... Uh, right, do you want some more wine facts? I, I know, you're chomping at the bit for them. Bitter wines are best balanced with fat. There you are. Okay. Uh, so I guess like more bitter wines uh, would be, and acidic wines would be better with things like, you know, like you have like a, a meat board and a few picky bits and some cheese, Craig. Yeah. Perfect way to balance those. Uh, white wines are best paired with meats that have light intensity, for example, chicken or fish. Uh, red wines are best paired with bold flavoured meats like red meat. Uh, the wine and the food should have the same flavour intensity. That's how you pick your wines. Uh, the wine that you choose ought to be sweeter and more acidic than the food. And instead of matching the wine with the meat, it is better to match the wine with the sauce there you are I know what an education for you um, let me know what your favorite wine is uh, over in the comments I would love to know that uh, I want to mention as well something else that's coming up a little later today it is your out of this world deal it is an out of this world deal from Tiffany but also you were looking at something with double points as well this is fantastic there's some bags that we don't always see on the show in here as well which I think is awesome so this one here is Katia and Katia is great for like square style ink pads now of course they've all got that amazingly strong hook and loop Cathy has got the side flaps on there as well this is the one I think that you can use as a kitchen towel holder too which works quite well um, but you've got these individual compartments that come out things like distress inks work beautifully in them but they're great for storing a whole host of different things gems embellishments there's loads of things you can put in there the great thing about the buddy bags is that they are all clear which is fantastic so you can see exactly uh, what is in there and also uh, they all store in and out lift in and out of your lowest tote which is brilliant now this next one just here this one is 
It's the bag with no name. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back, come back to that. By process of elimination is where we'll come back to that uh, in a moment. What I also wanted to say was this one here is Barbara. Barbara's got herself in a right mucky state, you know. Uh, she was, uh, she had some uh, alcohol inks in there. We tried to give her a clean, but again, this is great for a whole host of different things. Barbara is wonderful for stealing your inks and gems, uh, your adhesives, um, punches, markers, sprays can all be stored there in Barbara. We've also got Terry here. Now, Terry is great for pens. Terry can, have you uh, got a tri blend to hand over there, Craig? I do. I just need to check because it says on the packaging that you can pop a tri-blend in there. Sorry, both of us just decided to leave the set at the same time. At least we should, just one of us should try and stay put. Uh, it says you can pop a tri-blend in here, but I didn't realise you could pop your tri-blends in here. So let's do this, a live demonstration here. Uh, you can indeed, yes, the tri-blends do fit in there as well. So uh, great, as a little colouring project. Would you like this one back, Craig? Yes. Yeah, oh, let's just take that one. Let's I'll just give that. I'll stay here. I'll stay. Hey, there hey. you go. I was really hoping we'd just... You can actually take this one back, flap that round there, and stick that on the back there, and then what you've got is a lovely little project bag. I didn't so there's you a, could do that. Yeah, there's, Terry's got a back flap as well as the two side flaps as well, which is awesome. So you take that off of there, and you can pop that all together, which is fantastic. I hope by process of elimination, you are um, working out which one this one is, Johnny. Uh, so this one here is Sue. Now, Sue's brilliant because Sue opens all the way up which is fantastic so it actually opens completely all the way out which is fantastic we've just stored some aqua pens in here uh, in uh, their packaging uh, but you could put anything you want in there it works great for ink pads uh, embellishments really great for things like all your different stone drops and stuff like that your little um, dew drops and gem drops in there um, it's great for those and this one here this is Gail now Gail is brilliant as a drawer organizer whether it's crafting or, or non-crafting items wonderful things like you know if you've got loads of spices Craig and they're always That's in the cupboard idea, yeah. uh, you put them in the cupboard don't you and the cupboard's sort of long and thin and you need the paprika you need the paprika where the paprika's always at the back you take Process. everything out first you use these as, as draw um, cupboard organizers you just slide them in and out which is brilliant wonderful for rulers paint brushes scissors can all go in there as well it's a really lovely uh, collection you've got five awesome bags in there a couple that we don't see very often as well and a great price and remember double points on everything totally Tiffany in the shows also across the entire website today as well but talking of things exciting Craig's got something very exciting coming up a little later at the end actually after our day today here on Crafters TV I do indeed so what I'm going to show you launches tomorrow on Crafters TV it doesn't go live on the website until tomorrow and we do that because so many of you love it that in the past what we've done is you've jumped on the website beforehand but what we'll do to make it fair to everyone we'll wait till the day so what I'm going to show you launches tomorrow on launch day with myself and Joe which is going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK 10 is it a Eastern triple crate day tomorrow it, it is You've got me oh. for wake up call, you've got me for launch day, and you've also got me for creative cravings. And it's my fake Friday, what could go wrong? It's your fake Friday, what could go wrong as well? I know, I'm sorry, if you don't like watching me, you know what, yeah, oh, well. I'll do my best. You can watch any of our other shows with you our other do. experts back at any time that you like over on the website. Absolutely. Watch them instead. But no, in all seriousness, this is what's launching tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a full-on preview on a Facebook Live tonight here in the UK. Half past nine here in the UK. 4.30 Eastern time. 3.30 Central time or 1.30 Pacific time. We're going to go through it in a lot of detail. Must stress, launches tomorrow. So what I'm going to show you now and even more of a quick preview of the preview you can't buy it yet but it's just to uh, get you excited even more than i am so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at fairyland here now this is our die cut topper selection this is all on Mirry card i've explained the difference between Mirry and mirror i'll do that again tonight in facebook live and explain tomorrow this is top quality mirror card Mirry card that is printed on but what you're also getting still with the fairyland collection you're getting the concept this is decollage big decoupage also in Mirry. what you're then going to be getting is your fairyland insert so the actual name is return or welcome to fairyland you've got the inserts as well these are matte so you can print and stamp onto them so within that one that is your fairyland including 
the little book as well, also mirror. What I'm showing you as well, this is all available in the Buy the Show bundle. So we do have separate bundles, but if you want to get this all when it launches tomorrow, you can do at an incredible price. Now, Joe, hobbies for him. This is something I get asked, you get asked, we all get asked about cards for men. Apparently we are hard to make for. I don't think we are, but apparently we are. Hunky Dory have done this. So this is your topper collection with the background card. You're getting it all about men. Not just football and golf and all these different um, sports. Eurovision in there? Unfortunately, there's not Eurovision. There's no Eurovision? There, there is some music with guitars, WWE? etc. Um, no, there's not actually WWE, but you do have your mechanic work, you've got your boat work, your steam train, you've got some little alcoholic beverages that a guy might like to have at the end of the day. Hill walking, that's all in here. What you're also getting is a concept selection, still with the hobbies for him. This is doing your twisted easel, all done for you. You're also getting your A4 inserts as well. Also map, stamp and uh, print onto them if you want. But to complement that, you're getting your 8x8 eight eight picture perfect, hobbies for him, double sided. We'll show you them in more detail tonight where what you can do is you can trim down all these different toppers yourself, but it's double sided where you get coordinated background papers within it as well. Then also still within, the Buy the Bundle collection, we've got our popper toppers. And this is exactly what it says on the tin. You have got all these individual toppers inside that you're going to pop out. This one is It's a Cat and a Dog's Life. What we've also got is fabulous florals. What we've also got is cute and cuddly. And what we've also got is a life of leisure. All of these ones here, as well as the collections that I've showed you for uh, Hobbies for Him and Welcome to Fairyland are all die cut for you. You're just going to pop them out and create your own cards. So they're all on Adorable Scorable, which is your coated card stock, which means it's Bendy Ink technology. I will, on that Facebook Live, I will go through the sheets individually. I'll also do a little bit of uh, card making as well on the Facebook Live tonight. That's giving you the sneak peek preview. This is the preview of the preview of where tonight we'll go in a lot more detail ready so that when it launches on the website tomorrow you'll have already seen everything that you know that you're going to get you can then know securely safely you've got yours checked out come back watch me and Joe on launch day and uh, you know that you can be relaxed and having already purchased it within your basket so there we go that is the full on Facebook live that I'll do tonight which of course is 9.30 here in the UK 4.30 Eastern time in the afternoon 3.30 Central Time or 1.30 Pacific Time, all in the afternoon. And we're going to go in that in a lot more detail, Joe. Awesome. Uh, right. Uh, loads of you chatting away. Aisha says, yay, a day of Craig is wonderful. Mary Lee says, hotty Scotty, who wouldn't love a day with you everywhere? Oh. Uh, Inee says, oh, triple Craig, lovely. Uh, and also Vicky saying, love the hobbies for him. It is Father's Day soon, so they'll be perfect for that. They really will. Uh, Michelle says, I will behave. I will behave. I might misbehave. No, I will behave, maybe, in response to a day of Craig. <laughs> mm. uh, Rosalind says she's finally found a red wine that she can drink. It's called Menage a Trois. Lavish, well, lavish like Merlot. Word. Menage a Trois. Menage I love trois. that. Uh, Lorraine says a glass a day keeps the doctor away. Uh, do your own research is all I'd say. I'm not a qualified doctor. I don't know if you realise that yet, but uh, I'm not sure I can uh, can say whether that is the case. Although there is some, there is definitely some. Um, Studies out there that say that a, a, a small amount of red wine might not be that bad for you after all, which I think is lovely. Uh, as always, drink responsibly uh, is what I would say. Now, loads still to come uh, today here in this wake up call. Uh, and next, Craig, uh, oh, is it Explorer Kit we're having a look at? It is indeed. I was so, so chuffed to see this one within the Explorer Kit. This one is Magical Wishes. So within the Magical Wishes, what you're getting is the Over the Edge, so it's your stamp and die, you're getting the Rocker Blocks, you're getting your watercolour card, you're getting the Flagstone Waterproof Ink Pad, and you're also getting a set of the Tri-Colour Aqua Pens. It's three pens, but you've got nine 
colours within these ones here. So what we're going to do is, you may have seen in the past, we've had our character over the edge on Crafters TV in the past. So if you go back and have a look at past shows, you're going to be able to see how you can do the over the edge aspect. Because if I show you the die, this is the die set that you get with it. Now it might look a bit strange if you are new to it, but what enables you to do is it matches the main stamp within here. So one of the dies will match the left hand side, one will match the right hand side and one matches over the top. So this is where you can do all your different edibles. So being um, conscious of the fact that we have done that uh, a, a number of times here on Crafters TV, I thought let's actually show you how you can use it even without the dies if you want to. And let's do it could be uh, a bit of decor for uh, a kid's, uh, kid's bedroom, baby's bedroom, you know, a girl or a boy's bedroom. It's up to yourself. Just to say as well, this is what's coming up in launch parties. That set was showed you 2866 here in the UK for you guys stateside 4155. So let's bring in the rocker block that I've got. Let's just check. I want to double check the size. Here we go. Got the one here. And I'm going to use the rocker block for this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to build up our own little bit of a collage. So bringing in my ink pad, Joe. We're going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp my unicorn. And we're going to do it onto our waterproof cardstock, which I've already trimmed to seven by seven. If you've never seen rocker blocks before, these are so unique and so different. All you need to worry about is you don't get any ink on the edge. There's a tiny little lip on the edge here, about three or four millimeters. So making sure you've got no ink on those edges. We're then going to come in at a bit of an angle. Now I'm just wondering, I think, Having a look, here we go, ah, oh, perfect, thank you Charlotte. I'm going to come back a bit so that you can see. Now, it's not going to be straight on, I don't want it to be straight on to my cardstock, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to sit it at about 90 degrees, and then I'm going to rock. Fantastic. Literally rocking. And then what we're going to do, is we're going to do this a few times, and I'm going to build up my own little bit of a collage. So what I'm going to do again, so let's, I'm just eyeing it up, and that's a good thing with the rocker block. Although it's purple, you can still see through. So I'm wanting to get ready to rock it, and I'm also doing stamping off the page. So we've then got that effect here. And then what I'm a great way to create your own backgrounds, Craig. Exactly. Something maybe you've not thought about. What ink are you using here, asked Marie. So this is the ink that you get with the set. So this okay. is the flagstone waterproof that, you're, uh, that you get within it. So once again, I'm going to position that where I'm wanting to, and then I'm going to rock. And then what I'll do is, we'll do maybe one or two more, and then I'll go on to the next, but I'm not going to do it all, because of course, uh, that'll take a bit of time. Having a look, position them, even if you can get them so they're kind of working in tail with each other, it works quite smart. So rocking again. So we've then got this effect starting to build up. Then what I would do is either using the rocker blocks because you've still got some really, really tiny ones. I don't have a tiny rocker block with me, so let's just use this one here. And I'm bringing in one of the stamps, and then all that I would do, Joe, is I would go in and infill all these little areas with the stamps that you've got within the set. Nice. So infill in, but there's loads within this one here. I'll quickly bring in to show you. Now we've called this a unicorn before, Craig, haven't we? We have. It's not a unicorn. What is it? It's an alicorn, apparently. Alicorn? An alicorn, yeah. Okay. A flying unicorn is an alicorn, not a unicorn. Right. And it's not a pegasus, that's something completely different as well, apparently. Something completely that's different. It's like a flying horse. Hmm. Okay. I learn something new every day. There you are. What I'm doing here is I've gone in with something extra, and this is our Ice Grey 2 Tri-Blend. Now, all that would say is you just need to be a little bit careful because this is actually a waterproof ink pad that I've just used here. So if I was to be really slow, what I would start to do is bleed that black line. So I'm going relatively quick, so I'm getting a grey outline all the way around. 
It really grounds the image, doesn't it? It does. And wait until you see what it looks like once you've done it all, which I've got to the side of me. And then what we can do is we can bring in our aqua tricolors and we're going to do a little bit of, uh, let's say a bit of uh, ink splattering. Splattering? Yeah. Ooh, okay, that sounds fun. Michelle agrees that uh, making your own backgrounds is so fun. Definitely one of those things I think, speaking to our class, is something you could just sit down and have a whole background making session, Craig. You can. And what you can also do as well is use your sentiments. You know, use your sentiments as a background. It doesn't have to be an actual image. Whatever you've got to work in conjunction with your project, then use it. Because it's amazing how well that it starts to look. So I'll go at the end here. So you would start your building your collage with your, what do we call it? Alicorn. Alicorn. Go around with the grey. And then this is what it would look like. Wow. So even the grey. That's amazing. Just the grey on its own, doesn't that look spectacular? That looks incredible, Craig. So what we're then going to do is let's go in with the tri-colours here. So what we've got is I'm also going to take a bit of uh, baby wax. I'm just going to clean this excess off here, Joe. And this is our tri-colour, so this means it's water-based. So let's go in with the... We'll do the yellow and the green. Let's do a blue and then let's do a, let's do one of the purples as well. Nice. And all that I'm going to do is lay this onto my glass mat. Or if you've got the set that you know you were showing earlier on, the Spectrum Noir bundle. Yes. You could be using that instead if you want to. Okay. And we're laying down the colour here. So let's go for the yellow. And let's go, I think I'm fine with, I think I'm fine with the three colours. Paintbrush, some water, and I'm going to load up my paintbrush with water here, and then I'm going to go in with the yellow, really water this down, and then what I'm going to do against my hand, I'm going to splatter it. Oh. So if you're not comfortable with colouring, then this is a nice technique to do because it looks quite effective by the end. You might think, Mm, you've just ruined that all. And the watercolour's not going to affect the, the ice grey, no? Nope, nope. Because we're not laden it with colour, we're literally doing splatters, it's going to be absolutely fine. If you wanted to, you could come along and do the outline afterwards, but I prefer to do the outline first and then do the colour in. So I'm going to do the same with this purpley pink. Really water it down, and we're going to splatter it over the top and then what we can do spend a bit more time than me but let's come in now with the blue and give it a good splatter as well and as it's water based I've got some ink onto my counter here I'm not concerned it's just going to wash off either with a baby wipe or warm soapy water so let's go in with a bit of a splatter let's maybe get a wee bit more into here and then that's how I'm going to leave it Nice. Now you can carry on going round the edges if you want. What I'm going to do, just for a wee second, Joe, I'm going to give this a blast with a heat gun. Um, if you can just give me a moment or two. No problem at all. Uh, lots of you loving this. And remember, this will be coming up in launch party with myself and Jan. That is tonight at 7pm in the UK, 2pm on the East Coast, 11am for you West Coasters. It is your Explorer kit. So, you know, everything in there that you need really, apart from a brush, uh, to replicate that and recreate exactly uh, what Craig has used there. Here's everything you get in. You get stamps and dies for the uh, Alicorn. You get the cardstock, the ink pad, the rocker blocks, and you're also getting those tri colours in there. A great deal to get all of those items together. Uh, Marie's asking what size brush you use, Craig? So it's the biggest one that we've got within our set. So it's the three quarters of an inch or a 19 millimetre. So that's the largest one. But to be honest with you, you could do any of your thicker brushes. You just want to have a brush that's got enough scope to uh, ladle up the paint or the, the colour so that you can actually splatter it on. Awesome. So just doing that a little bit more just to dry it off because I've, I've got a finished sample but I don't have a finished layer already done. 
be interested to see what Jan does with this later as well. I'm sure she'll put no doubt an absolutely different spin on it. Jan Brown is in the building, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I've just seen her milling around backstage. Burrell, can't wait to see her take on it. She does some incredible things when it comes to her spectrum noir. Love watching what she does. So what I've done is let's make this a little bit of a, a name. Could be a banner or what we're going to do is add a little bit of ribbon here. So I'm going to put a little bit here and here. And very similar to what I'd done yesterday. You know with our box frame? Remember oh, yeah. Monday Makers I'd done the Demo box of the frame. day yesterday. Oh, it was, wasn't it? It was indeed. So I'm going to sandwich that one on. And then also let's take a bit of collal. And I'm doing this one here. So that's going to sandwich in the ribbon and it's going to stay in place. And then I've taken some baby pink glitter card. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. And that's because our double sided tape over a short amount of time, it will start to peel away from the glitter card. So therefore adding a tacky glue is then going to actually hold it into place. I'm wondering Craig, if this could do with an honorary spot in the demo of the day. Do you think so? Oh, Johnny said, oh, crikey, hang on a minute. I just think it's such a great demonstration. I, I'll let you decide. Should that we one. put it in? Let us know in the comments whether we should give Craig an honorary an honorary uh, place in the <laughs> demo of the uh, in the demo of the day. Uh, or yeah, I think that's the only way to do it. Um, to ask everyone. If you guys want it in, the, the, people, the people speak, so let me know in the comments. Crafters TV. Uh, Jan's will be in as well. I mean, Jan might be fuming about it, you never don't know, but we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe Jan will veto. Maybe we should give Jan the option of a veto as well. What do you reckon to that? So there we are. Let me know in the comments. I'll let you decide on whatever you decide to do on that one. I've uh, used my double-sided tape. You can use your tape runner or your glue. It's just because it's my personal choice. Plus, because I've uh, heated it up, because the, the card will, will start to bend very slightly, not much, but very slightly, I'm using my uh, tape to hold it down. And then all that I've done beforehand is I've come in and used our shadow alphabets, and I've die-cut out name. I'm layering that up with foam pads, and then I'm going to pop this one maybe round about here and press. Now this could go on to a little girl's bedroom door. Obviously if they've got a longer name, you could use smaller letters. It could be a boy's color and change the color, but it's just a completely different way in which you can use your um, magical stamp set. Instead of using it in the traditional over the edge way that you would tend to do, and we have done a lot of time in the past, this is what we can do instead. So there is what we've just done, and then exactly the same. There's one that I've prepped before. However, I've gone in with a little bit more heavy-handed color, but a totally different way that we've used it. Other than the ice gray too, all the other components that we use are from the, uh, the it's the Explorer kit, isn't it? Is it out of this world? Explorer kit, this one is, yeah. So this is the Magical Wishes Over the Edge Explorer kit. It's your card, your stamp, your dies, and your tri blends, and more. That's your Rocker Blocks. 2866 here in the UK, 4155 for you guys stateside. It actually works out basically that you're getting the stamp and die set for free when it comes to this bundle here. So to reiterate what I said at the start as well, it isn't over the edge. We've done uh, a multitude of shows in the past when it comes to the over the edge. So go back onto YouTube, watch past shows on Crafters TV with the character over the edge and you'll see lots of different ideas. But I really just wanted to take it away from the over the edge and show you that you can actually do and use them in different ways as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that one there. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little set that you could be doing with that stamp and die set. Oh, is that me? Oh, is it, is it me? Sorry. Right, okay, dope. So, if you are platinum, if you spend over £15, $15 or €15, Euros, that means that you're going to get a free weekend. Now, within this one here, it's all platinum members. You're going to receive that create a card die as a free gift. 
So if you are platinum, you spend over £15, $15 or €15, Euros, you're going to get that free create a card die gift. So that is a thank you for you. And it is just for today as well, just for today to get your hands on that free gift. And let's face it, you know, even if you go for that Explorer kit, you spend, you know, actually, all of them are over £15, $15 or €15, Euros, aren't you? So if you go for any of these bundles, not just what's on our show, it's what is, as long as your uh, purchase is over £15, your basket is over £15, $15, then you will get that. You don't need to do anything, no code, no nothing. It will be popped into the basket for you as well. So a nice little extra wee, uh, wee gift to say thank you from us to you. Mm, absolutely. Now, there's been a lot of chatter about whether Craze Demo should have an honouring place in uh, the demo of the, day, of the day. A lot of people saying maybe there's a call for having uh, a project from the Wake Up Call in every day. You've uh, said this in the I past. have said this in the past. Aisha says, yes, all Wake Up Call demos should be eligible for demo of the day. Big talk there, Aisha. Peg says, yes, add the project, put a lot of work into it. Absolutely. Craig, 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 says Meeve. Uh, and Winnebeth says, yes, add the card. I personally think items created in the Wake Up Call should be all be voted on the card of the day every day. Well, it's not that far. Change is incremental, I'm told, Craig. But yes, we are going to put it in then for today's show. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll let you break the news to Jan. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yes, we'll put it in, seeing as it's so awesome. I think it deserves its place, don't you? Ah, uh, thank you very much. And you know, so it's something that we will, if you're asking for these to be part of um, the card of the show, because we've kind of slightly changed the format of Wake Up Call, whereas we actually spend more time on specific demos throughout the shows, then I, I wouldn't be opposed to actually uh, having the Wake Up Call project included in the, the card or demo I'm sure of the show. I'm sure you wouldn't. <laughs> I'd definitely You'd be, be shooting it. up that lead. I'll, I'll be like, can we do it? Can we do it? Absolutely, let's do it. So let's uh, watch this space, as Joe said, as well. Right. So what we're going to do is uh, let's have a look again. Yes, let's have a look at these creator cards here. This is something that is so, so busy. How much, Johnny? Fifth of the stock Whoa. has gone. Um, I, uh, I said earlier, I'm not surprised at how well this is going already. It's something that you guys have asked for for so, so long. We've managed to get it. It is going to be while stocks last. This is your fancy apron and your Mixed With Love Create A Card collection. 29 elements in total. You can be making, obviously, that mix and bowl. You can do them any colours, any designs that you want to. But then you've got the apron, so it could be his, it could be hers. You could be doing it for the barbecue. Lots of different themes that you can be using it for if you want to. 42.73 here in the UK. 56.41 for you guys stateside. Of course, if you are in Europe, you go across to your website. Everyone is going to get 50 bonus points when you get this into your basket and checked out as well. Also, it does mean that if you you are uh, platinum then that takes you well over the 15 uh, pound 15 dollars 15 euros so that free gift will automatically go into your basket as well so a nice little extra when you go for that one as well and it's a creative card so the creative cards all work well together so do make sure that you go across and uh, i would go and have a look if you if you don't necessarily like shopping during the show certainly as soon as the show ends before launch uh, before Masterclass comes on with Jan and Joe, I would get across to our website and get it checked out there. Talking about Masterclass, well, we'll have a little bit of a review as to what's still to come on Crafters TV. So you've got Joe and Jan for the rest of today. Masterclass, which is all about stenciling, embossing folders and inking. Who best to be able to show you that than Jan herself? So that's going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Then they're both going to be back again for a little bit of a Tuesday lodge party where they're going to get all creative with, well, some of the things that we've been showing you on the show as well. So that's going to be 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time or 11am Pacific Time. And do you know what? That's not even it. I'm going to be back half past nine here in the UK, 4.30 Eastern Time, 3.30 Central Time, 1.30 Pacific Time, all in the afternoon, where we're going to do a hunky-dory preview. I'm going to go and do a full on-depth preview as to hunky-dory launch day that both myself and Joe have got tomorrow on Crafters TV. So I do hope you can join me. Finish watching Jan and Joe, get something to eat, get a cup of tea, whatever you need to do, and come back and I'll be live from my craft room. So that's that's also going to be an epic day to do mm. tomorrow, Joe, when we do that. Yeah, it really is. Looking forward to that tomorrow it's a triple craig day tomorrow so you'll definitely get card of the day tomorrow i can tell you that 
I definitely uh, will. If I was a betting man, absolutely you would. Uh, but yeah, really enjoy those Hunky Dory shows. Not a lot, I know a lot of you uh, are now uh, massive Hunky Dory fans as well. Yes, as Craig said, I'll be back with Double Jan for the rest of the day. So make sure uh, you come and keep me company. Get all your questions in to uh, Masterclass. Of course, a great chance for uh, you to get those questions in. Don't forget about double points across everything Tiffany that you see on air here at Crafters TV today, but also across our entire website too. So loads of reasons to shop today, Craig. There is loads and loads of reasons as well. And, um, you know, if you do enjoy seeing Tiffany and that, all I'm going to say is I'm in on Saturday. I'm not necessarily on the last show of the day. Someone might be, uh, someone might be making an appearance on the full show at the end of the day on Craft House. All that I've got to say as well is uh, thank you so much. That is me for the day for Crafters TV. But as Joe says, I'm back all tomorrow. Uh, also the last day for a couple of days for Johnny and Charlotte. So Johnny and Charlotte, it's been an absolute pleasure. George Square will be back in the building tomorrow, the two of them. So I better get the selfies ready. You know what they're like. Eh? So we're going to be back tomorrow where we're going to have a lot of fun. We are, well, certainly by the end of the day, you know, I'm probably going to be like that. We're going to have uh, so much fun as well. As always, Joe, thank you so much. Pleasure as so always. Oh, love working with you. Have a great day and watching Jan and Joe on the rest of the day on Crafters TV. And uh, yeah, I will see you at the end of today, my Facebook Live. And we'll see you right back here for same time tomorrow where we're going to do a wake up call and we're going to do it midweek style. Have a lot of fun. Bye.